as recalled by a lady's diary. The other day I came across an entry that brought back memories. March 1st, 1944, Joe's coming home on furlough. I remember one rub, I couldn't get camels. Maybe he'd bring some. Well, Joe arrived and it was pretty wonderful. Later, I apologized for not having camels. I'd rounded up five brands, but no camels. I said, at least you'll have variety. I remember Joe smoking one of those cigarettes. His expression said, hmm, I'll take camels any day. Yes, during the wartime cigarette shortage, people smoked any brand they could get and compared the different brands. Compared them in their T-zones, tea for taste, tea for throat. And they decided they liked camels best for cool, cool mildness and rich, full flavor. Result? More people are smoking camels than ever before. Yes, experience is the best teacher. Try a camel yourself. This is the story of absent-minded Frank Thayer. Frank walks back from lunch and sees a sight that unnerves him for a moment. A line of people a block long. Visions of wartime shortages. No stockings. No steaks and chops. Little or no gasoline and waiting in line for an hour for one pack of cigarettes, any brand. In a flash, Frank realizes he's seeing a movie cue. Just to reassure himself, Frank stops at the tobacco store for a carton of camels. He says to the clerk, I was just thinking of the days when you might as well have asked for a bushel of diamonds as a carton of camels. Yes, during the wartime shortage, folks smoked many different brands and compared them. That experience taught smoker after smoker that camels' cool, cool mildness and rich, full flavors suit them best. Try a camel on your T-zone. Tea for taste, tea for throat. Your proving ground for any cigarette. See for yourself why more people are smoking camels than ever before.